hi everyone welcome back to another video if you are new on my page my name is marceline and in today's video we're gonna be making some coconut sugar bun this was a requested video and it's been a long time and i'm finally making it so welcome to my page go ahead get comfy and enjoy the video so we're gonna start off by making the dough which is pretty simple you can either knead it or you can put it in your mixer. I start off by adding my yeast to my coconut milk and I add a tablespoon of granulated sugar to help the yeast to activate. All right, I'm just gonna mix it up and set it aside and it takes about five minutes to get active. So I'm gonna go ahead and prepare my dry ingredients. I'm adding my sugar and my salt. I don't want my bun to be too sweet because the filling is gonna be sweet, but it's all up to you. If you want a sweet bun like a sugar bun, you can add more sugar. All right, so I'm just gonna mix that up and set it aside. By now my yeast is active. You see how it's nice and foamy, that's how you want it. And I'm gonna go ahead and just combine everything in my mixer. So we have our coconut milk and yeast mixture ready. We have our flour, our egg and butter, and I'm using three quarter stick of butter. All the ingredients will be listed as usual in the comment section and on YouTube, it will be in the description box. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and dump everything in there. I've made this mixture several times and I know that it's perfect. There's nothing short, nothing missing, and it's gonna be the perfect mixture. And you wanna make sure that you scrape your bowl to ensure that all the yeast is up. So I start off my mixer on slow and then I speed it up to medium. All right, and I just allow that to mix for eight minutes while I go ahead and get my coconut ready. So it's been eight minutes and my dough is finally ready. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to put it in my grease bowl. My bowl is already greased with just some regular coconut oil and I'm gonna just go ahead, add it in there, cover it with some film wrap and just allow it to double in size. As you can see, the dough is just soft and nice and that's exactly how you want your dough to be. All right, it's not too sticky. It just have the perfect perfect texture i'm just going to roll it around in the grease cover it and then it's going to sit there for up to an hour and double in size you want to make sure that it's in a warm environment so i normally put mine in the oven where it's dark and warm now i'm just going to proceed with my coconut and you don't want a sharp knife for this process because most times it will slip and it will run into your hands and you don't want that all right i am not going to grate them but this is a time where you would go ahead and grate it but to be honest, I cannot grate them right now. I have a really bad pain in my shoulder and I have to take it easy, okay? So I'm gonna be putting them in the processor and I'm gonna chop them up real fine as if it was grated. However, feel free to go ahead, take your time and grate your coconut because you know, that's the correct process. Next, I added a half cup of water to my pot just to steam them down a little bit to get them nice and glammy. To go in the middle of my bun all right you don't want to make a, any greater cake you know you just want to go ahead and cook down the coconut just a little bit with just the water and then at the very end you add it gradually add your sugar all right and when you're adding your sugar just add it to your taste how sweet you want it i'm gonna add my brown sugar later on i will add some dark sugar to give it a darker look and then i will add my cinnamon nutmeg and some mixed spice so as I gradually add my spices, I mix and I taste until it was perfect for me. So go ahead and do the same. I know that everyone have a different palate. So what is sweet to me may not be sweet to you. So that is why I said gradually add the sugar. Therefore, I won't put any measurement for sugar. All right, so I've added my vanilla. I'm gonna add some dark brown sugar and then we're gonna proceed to adding our nutmeg. My coconut mixture is still a little bit hot. So what I will do is I will set it aside until it's cool because we don't want to add this to the dough while it's hot. All right, so we're gonna set it aside, let it cool down and then we can proceed from there. So right here, I have my baking pans ready. I sprayed it down the entire thing with some palm and then I put parchment paper at the bottom. By now, my dough has doubled in size and we're gonna punch it to release the air bubbles and then we're gonna roll it out. You wanna roll this out into like a rectangular shape because we're gonna roll it like we're rolling a cinnamon bun, all right? 
So by now my dough is so flexible and easy to work with, but you wanna make sure that you go ahead and lightly dust the counter so that when you're rolling the dough out, it doesn't move around, all right? So I'm just gonna roll it into a rectangle as I've said before, and then I'm gonna apply some butter so that the coconut can stick. So now it's ready, and this is the shape that I want it to be in. All right, I'm going to apply the butter and make sure that you're using room temperature butter. The butter shouldn't be cold. All right, make sure it's room temperature and you're just going to lightly spread it on just a little just to help the coconut to stay in place. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my spoon to generously spread the coconut mixture across this dough. As you can see, the mixture is wet and glammy and it has it's, it's, it's gonna be just perfect when you bake it you know it's not gonna be all dried out so that is the reason why I add the water to it and like steam it down just a little bit all right so just take your time and make sure you do that process the so next what I'm gonna do now is go to the longer end and I'm gonna pinch the side and fold it over and then I start rolling all right, so you want to roll it and then we're going to use a very sharp knife to cut my pieces. Whichever pastry you make, whenever you do this roll process, more than likely the ends lock filling. So normally you just cut those parts off. You don't discard them. You can just add some filling to them or you can just set them aside and make some regular rolls. But then I proceed to try and cut them in the same size. All right. I can't remember who asked me to make this, but it, it's been a long time. I think it was from in November. Someone asked me to do this in a live stream, but I haven't gone live since November. And I know I'm going to search my message if I can find the person who requested this and give her a shout out because I know it's been a long, long time. All right. So I'm just going to seal that little end that is flapping and set them in my baking sheet and after this we're gonna just cover them again and allow them to double in size so i covered them for 30 minutes if you want to bake them single you want to separate them when you're putting them in your bowl because when they rise they're going to be touching each other but it doesn't matter to me but just in case you want to make them like um come out whole by themselves just put them at least give them at least an inch and a half apart so that when they rise they don't touch so my oven was preheated at 350 degrees and i gave them 20 minutes in the oven they came out looking golden brown and they were so yummy you can see the coconut how nice and soft and just full of spice it was just so awesome go ahead and try out the recipe and let me know in the comments thank you guys so much for sticking and staying with me and go ahead and click the share button share it with your friends that you know love coconut yeah share it with them and don't keep the recipe to yourself all right thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your weekend